another video. I mean, as you guys know, we are consistent and as you guys could tell from the title of this video, today we have another girl talk video and as I usually say in my girl talk videos, those of you who know, know that at my core, I am a big sister. Like I literally cannot help it and the more that i grow is the more that i know and the more stuff that i know the more i want to share the stuff that i've learned with you guys because hopefully as you're watching this you might pick up a thing or two it might help you in the future it might even help you in the present so if you're interested please do continue watching and enjoy the older that i've become the more that i truly understand the importance of showing up for yourself, the more that I truly understand the importance of making promises to yourself and also keeping those promises because at the end of the day, the promises that you make to yourself are actually the most important promises that you can make because the worst person to ever betray in this whole entire world is yourself. The worst person to ever not keep a promise to is yourself because that also affects the way that you view yourself and self-image and self-awareness is of the utmost importance guys trust me when i say this like you need to have such a good self-image and have such good self-awareness especially if you are a young lady in your 20s and you're still trying to find your feet in this very complicated world and for me personally the first thing that i did to start sharing up for myself better is i really just take time to be proud of myself and look at how far i've come all of the things that I've accomplished, even though I'm really not where I want to be as of yet, and I haven't accomplished nearly half of the things that I wish to accomplish, but I take time to really appreciate the work that I've done. So I'm really just appreciating myself for my efforts, you know, because at the end of the day, nobody knows how hard something was for you, except for you. So you should really appreciate your hard work, you should really appreciate yourself and be thankful for the work that you've put in and just be proud, like you should be proud of yourself. Another thing that I've done to just show up for myself a lot better is I accept my boundaries. Guys, when it comes to boundaries, make no mistake, like don't say it's okay when it's not okay. If something is not okay with you, it's just not okay with you. Like it can be okay for the next person and that's fine because that's them but you're you and that's not okay with you and you should make it known that some things just won't fly some things just won't fly and when people know that you have boundaries and also when you know that you have boundaries you save yourself from a lot of poor quality experiences guys having boundaries saves you from so so much it saves you from poor quality experiences it saves you from disrespect it saves you from going through things you have no business going through because a lot of the time if you think about it well for me personally when i think about it all of the times when i have sort of like disrespected myself or put myself in unfavorable positions is because i had not asserted my boundaries or i had overstepped my own boundaries and if you overstep your own boundaries you can't really expect other people to respect them because you also don't respect them yourself. So when it comes to boundaries, be very assertive, know what is okay for you, know what is not okay for you, and make sure you communicate it even within yourself. Like have boundaries within yourself. You should know that, okay, there's just some things I'm just not going to do. Like that's my boundary. It really... It saves you from a lot guys, it really saves you from a lot and when I started doing that, I just felt so much better about myself and I just, things just started making much more sense and I would say the quality of my life actually like improved significantly after that because I used to be a people pleaser but I will get into that in a separate video but yeah guys, boundaries very important and also just to touch on the whole thing of saving yourself from poor experiences guys, also having good friends saves you from a lot like i wouldn't go as far as to say like well actually i would go as far as to say that you should be very strict <laughs> when it comes to yourself like you should be very strict when it comes to your friendships you should be very strict you should be friends with people whose ideals sort of like line up with not even sort of whose ideals line up with your ideals and people who you know hold the same values as you people who you know will hold you accountable you know people who hold themselves accountable because then they would know that okay as a friend you can't do certain things like people who have friendship etiquette 
those kind of things like the people that you surround yourself with have such a huge impact on you guys like please make sure you have good friends like when it comes to friendships i'm very strict now like i'm very strict i protect my heart so much and it's done wonders for me sharing up for myself because i know that you know what i'm really putting myself first like you can seem like a good person you can seem like a cool person whatever but if you don't seem like you'd be a good person to me personally then it just won't work it just won't work and the other things that people can be good people to other people but not good people to you to you so also don't fall into the trap of gaslighting yourself and taking other people's experiences where they say so and so is so good so and so does this and this but then you experience that person differently like don't gaslight yourself if you can see that no this situation this friend is just not this friend is not the one then that friend is not the one for you not to say that they are a bad person or they are not a good friend but they're just not a good friend for you and those are the kind of people that you don't want around you. You want people who will help you grow, people who will hold you accountable, people who will contribute towards your goals, stuff like that. You get me? Another thing, oh my goodness, guys, I stopped comparing myself to other people. You know, they say comparison is a thief of all joy. It's true. Like, it truly is the thief of all joy. You will be looking at somebody and you will be comparing their highlight reels with your whole entire life and that is one of the biggest disservices you could ever do for yourself like guys please don't compare yourself to anybody don't compare yourself to people you wish to be like don't compare yourself to your age mates like we all have different life stories we all have different journeys we all have different paths so you really can't compare you can't compare apples to oranges because we're all different fruits and you're doing yourself such a disservice by comparing yourself to other people because they have their own things going on you also have your own things going on and this also goes back to just being proud of yourself and really acknowledging all of the things that you've overcome to get to where you are now you know when you acknowledge your own efforts you kind of like don't really feel the need to compare yourself to other people because you start comparing yourself to yourself you know you start comparing today's you to yesterday's you and then you can be like okay what did i do better what did i do that was not too good but i can improve on so guys please don't compare yourself to anybody like you are you they are them you can never be them they can never be you you get me like don't compare to also just show up for myself a lot better i really just give myself so much grace like guys one thing about me i will give myself grace like if i have forgiven myself there is nobody who's gonna make me feel bad about anything trust me when i say that <laughs> i just give myself space to to make mistakes i give myself space to feel whatever i'm feeling but i don't dwell on that feeling for too long you get me so sometimes i just have my cycle of days where i'm just feeling down and out my spirit is low you know i just don't want to do anything i'm just feeling so unproductive i allow myself to feel my emotions like i truly allow myself to feel my emotions and the more in tune you are with yourself like the easier it is to get through whatever emotion that you're feeling and you know i know that sometimes i'm gonna be feeling like really good i'm gonna be feeling super productive and i know that both are okay like you need both to basically be alive like you can't just only have good days like guys that's not possible like in as much as we only want to have good days you know good days in my mind mm -mm -mm, it's just not realistic it's just not realistic like give yourself grace and forgive yourself like forgive yourself forgive yourself for the things that you didn't know forgive yourself for the things that you knew but you just seems to have forgotten forgive yourself and just give yourself grace guys like it makes all the difference it truly does i have also started praying a lot more oh my goodness guys you know like working on your relationship with god really does a lot for your well-being your holistic well-being it also changes how you see yourself and the reason why i'm saying this the reason why i'm saying this is because once you truly understand that god took his time his precious time to form you to write your story to do all of these things for you you know like god sat there and he was like okay 
Dinelle is going to be like this, she's going to look like this, her journey is going to be like this. You know, you just start to really just trust God because you know that He wouldn't have brought you this far to leave you. And you also know that whatever God has really ordained for you, nobody can take that away. Like, nobody can take that away. And you start moving and living in a way that God would want you to live. But you can only start, like, really being in tune with that once you start, like, you know, working on your relationship with God. So, praying more, journaling more, you know, reading scripture. It's done a lot for the way that I see myself personally. And I think, not even I think, I actually know. Because I talk to my friends about these things. Like, this also goes back to what I was saying about having good friends. Like, me and my friends talk about God. We talk about scriptures. We talk about the stuff that we're going through. You know, we share sermons with each other. You know, all of those things. And we really just start to see life in a better light. And we start to see ourselves in a better light the more that we work on our relationship with God. So, prayer will take you very far. And finally, you guys, this is gonna sound so corny. Trust me, I know, but I have been told that I am quite a corny lady. But I really just take time to fall in love with myself again and again and again. And the more that I get to know myself, the more that I find things to love, the more that I start to treat myself better. So, yeah, guys, falling in love with yourself, you know, it does wonders for you as a person. And also just remembering that, okay, the certain things you wouldn't do to somebody that you love, right? Like, if you know that somebody that you love is coming over to your place, you're going to make sure that the place is clean. Like, because this person that you love is coming, so, like, they need to find a place that's clean. They need to find the dishes washed. They need to find you washed you know stuff like that so then you should love yourself enough to also be like okay i am somebody that i love so i want to have my dishes cleaned for myself you know i'm somebody that i love so i want to make sure that i do this and this for myself because you love yourself too much to tolerate certain things and you love yourself to the point where certain things just wouldn't be that way like self-love guys like falling in love with yourself over and over it will really help you to show up for yourself a lot better and with all of those things said that is how i have been showing up for myself a lot better there's still a lot more that i could say but i just don't want this video to be too long you guys can let me know if you want a part two or i will make a different rendition to this video but yeah guys i really do enjoy sharing the stuff that i've learned with you guys because as i said the more that i grow the more that i know and the more that i know the more i just want to share with people because i know that there are some people who feel the way that i feel about certain things and some people who are also going through it and they don't know how to get through it you know so i'm here to help you get through it if you're going through it you get me thank you guys so so much for watching please don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed as of yet until next time this is it from the consistent queen Bye!